Hello, folks. I'm President Barack Obama. How you doing? How we doing? Welcome to the Oval Office. Yeah. Yeah, let's give it up. Give it up for American politics slash mathematics. Math. Politics. Yeah. Math. <laughs> or it should be like math. <laughs> Politics. Oh. <laughs> That's what we should be doing. A bit more accurate. Or it should be both, but it's not. So whatever. Nice ah, catch, lady. Thank you. you. Caught that up. <laughs> it's like it floated into your grasp. <laughs> Today we'll be doing trig identities. It is the most important subject within the field of trig because it's the gateway to the higher level stuff. So with your permission, let's wade into it. Can I say, can I get a yay math? Yay math! Yay math! Yay math! Yay math! Ooh, harmonize. Yay <laughs> math! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, go through these and I'm going to give you a conclusion we can make from them. Uh, do we know what the hypotenuse of this triangle is? Uh, yeah, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. It is a three, four, five. So if it's you five. didn't remember what it was, you could do three squared plus four squared. Come on, easily. Stay with it. 4 plus 16 equals c squared. This is 25 equals c squared, so 5 equals c. In case you didn't recall that this was a special right triangle, 3, 4, 5. All right, hook it up. Sign of the angle is? Um, the sign. Opposite over hypotenuse. Make it. So three other, super three five. Over five. Over five, like a boss. Cosine is? 4 over 5. 4 over 5, adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent and side then over it's hypotenuse. 3 over 4. A tangent is opposite over adjacent, yes. three over four, very yep. nice. Now, if you look closely in here, we could come up with one identity. And one of them that works, I'm gonna prove it to you, is that tangent of an angle is actually equal to sine of that angle divided by cosine of that angle. Whoa, Whoa tricky. Yeah, you see it in there, hiding in there. You see it's three over four? Mm -hmm. And you see there's three over four hiding in here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Observe! What is sine of the angle? The sine is three, 3 over, over five. five. 3 over five. What is cosine of the angle? Four over five. Four over five. And now three over five divided by four over five goes as follows. Oh, so you just cancel out the fives. It would, you do cancel out the fives, ultimately. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Uh, but some people like to see it like this. They say like three over five um, divided by four over five, and which is the same as three over five times Four. Five over four. Five over four. Oh. Indeed, now we cancel out the fives and multiply across. This becomes... But, and then it goes three over four. Three over four, indeed. So tangent is three over four, That's which so you cool. could say is sine over cosine. All right, let's do the reciprocal functions. Do you recall what the reciprocal of sine is? So it's the C. E cosine? Yes. No, it's not cosine. Oh, okay. Co coagulation. Coagulate. <laughs> I have to wait for it to coagulate. Is it CSC? What? Yes, CSC is cosecant. Cosecant, yeah. Is the reciprocal of sine. So instead of opposite over hypotenuse, hypotenuse. it's hypotenuse, hypotenuse over opposite. Sense. Makes? Five uh, over three. Five over three. And the reciprocal of cosine? It's a division in college sports. Um, Everyone looked up. <laughs> Wait, can you see the question? SCC. The uh. reciprocal of cosine. Uh. It's a division in college sports. Yeah. Secant, it's called. Secant. So it's five over... Five oh. over four. Bravo. And then lie on your cot. It's three over four. I mean, four, four over, over three. Over three. Four over three. Yeah. No, that's what you meant. All right. So those are the reciprocal functions. A brief reminder... Whenever you're trying to recall what the reciprocal function pairs are, for every pair, there's one pilot and one co-pilot. Cool? Look at that. Sine co-secant. There it is. Here's your co. Cosine. Next. So this will not be co. The so S is secant. So this is, and then tangent, cotangent. The easiest one to remember. So tangent, cotangent. Here's your cosine and secant. Here's your sine and cosecant. It would make sense if they were just like, one side was co, one side was I secant. agree. I sort of wish you was sine cosine. Yes, please. <laughs> what are those the first two of the uh, same five third and five fourth? Like, which one? Where's the tan in there? Where's oh, tan oh, you want to do tangent hiding in there? No, where, where, what's what's CSC and SCC? CSC is a cosecant. And it's then, the reciprocal of sine. That's why we reciprocate sine. Here. Then what's the what's the S? This thing? Yeah. This is called secant. And then it's the oh, reciprocal wait. of cosine. 
Can we? Oh, wait, I haven't caught it. Right. Are you okay? Yeah, we could. Yeah. Please. Go ahead. For to find the coach engine, do we? Can we do the same thing? Please do. I was. You read my mind. Before. So it's caught. Cotangent at the angle equals what over equals, what? Equals uh, cosecant. No. Uh, co uh, no. Oh wait. Oh, so it's reversed. So it's secant. It's the reciprocal right? of this. C. What's e this called? Cosine. Over. Sine. Yes. Oh. Ugh. I thought I, I thought you just did the okay. Cosine over it. sine. Right. So cosine over sine will become ultimately. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take your suggestion now. So cosine is four over five, over three over five, which is sine. It was four thirds. Which is four thirds. Thank you very much for understanding that you could cancel these because they're on the same level. They're both in their respective denominators, resulting in four over three. Fantastic. Okay. Let's continue the identities conversation. Continue the identities. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take off all this. And I'm going to prove one major identity to you. It is the gold standard identity. It is the premier identity. All right. What would happen if you took sine of the angle and squared that? So remind me what sine of the angle is. It's three fifths. Three fifths. Squaring that would be six, six. times. I know why you're saying six. It's not six. It's nine over, over 25. Yes, oh. it's nine over 25. Pause on that thought. So this is the notation for sine squared times itself. You'll notice that the squared is along with the sine. The reason we do this is that if you wrote, don't write this one down, but just look at it. This may confuse people. Yeah. Because it's like, are you squaring the angle or, or are you squaring the, the ratio? Got it. And we're squaring the ratio. So for shorthand, so we don't have to keep putting parentheses over and over, we go. We call this sine squared of the angle, or sine squared theta. Mm -hmm. This is called theta. It's a yeah. Greek symbol. Theta. 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 All right. So this is called sine squared theta. What was sine of theta again? Um, three fifths. Three fifths. So I'm going to go three fifths squared. You said it already. Nine is over 25. Nine over 25. Plus cosine squared theta. Which is 16 25 Very good. 4 over 5 squared, which is plus 16 over 25. And what do these result in? Um, um, 25 over 25, which is so 1. What? They equal 1. Congratulations. You just figured out the most significant trig identity. Look at that. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Is there Can you say that? that? Um, Science. It's called a, a Pythagorean identity. Okay, <laughs> okay say sine squared plus cosine squared, squared equals one. Go. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. Very good. I was so confused because you said to say it and they started explaining it. Yeah, so I, I started I, saying I, it. Are you, do you want me to say it or what? Yeah, I started to say <laughs> it. Like, be clear with your instructions, it's Mr. President. <laughs> so you could even say sine squared of an angle plus cosine squared of an angle equals one. Say that. Say it. Sine squared, squared of an angle, angle plus cosine squared, squared of an angle, angle is one. Very good. Two identities left. We're going to, based on these, here we go. Because there's three major Pythagorean identities. These are called Pythagorean identities. Less important what they're called, but it makes sense that they're based on this triangle. So it makes, makes sense. All right. Now, what if, to get the next Pythagorean identity, for funsies, <laughs> <laughs> We divided both sides, both sides, <laughs> divided both sides <laughs> by sine squared theta. Mm -hmm. It would just take out sine squared theta. Yeah, it would just take out that. So it's you are right. Sine squared. Will sine squared divide into both terms? Yes. It does. Sine squared divides into this, and sine squared divides into this. Let's do it. What is sine squared of an angle divided by itself? Zero. Zero. Try one. again. One. 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 Yeah, that. Yeah, that. <laughs> one. Plus, what is, we've done it just now in this lesson. Oh, the what dog is, is caught. Good. Good job. The dog <laughs> caught. What is cosine squared divided by sine squared? Cotangent theta. It's a right? syntax error. Isn't this what we're talking about? Cosine over sine? Yeah. What is yeah, cosine over sine? Cotangent, right? Yeah. And isn't it this? Yeah. Yeah, so, so cotangent 
This is cotangent, cotangent. Mm -hmm. So what is what am I lacking here? You're lacking what? Squared. Yeah. Uh, yes. Does it make sense to you that cosine yes. squared divided by sine squared is cotangent mm -hmm. squared? Okay, good. Yeah. And is this one over sine squared? Oh, the reciprocal of sine squared. Oh. What was the so, reciprocal of sine? What was the co for sine? It was um, C. I, yeah. um, uh, cosecant. Five over. Cosecant. C S C. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cosecant what? Squared. Squared. Theta. Yes. Again, sine squared divided by sine squared. Sine squared divided by itself is one. Mm -hmm. Cosine divided by sine is cotangent. They're all squared, so we make it squared. Again, cosine divided by sine. Cotangent. Ooh. 1 over sine is the reciprocal of sine, which is cosecant. That's number 2. So here's 1. Here's 2. So that's just another one of the identities? Yes, that's another one of the identities. Now, I'm going to plant this seed in your mind. Some educators like to provide all the formulas, all the trig identities prior to tests. That's so nice. So you don't necessarily need to memorize them. Others, because you have to do more with them. That's what we're going to do later today. We're going to take this and solve equations with it. And some say, no, memorize it because it's part of it. There's a middle ground. If you can remember sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. You can also remember the second you one. Could divide, yeah, you can divide by sine squared and derive it yourself. You can mm -hmm. create it yourself. So now let's do the third one. I wonder what we're going to divide now. Instead of dividing sine squared, what are we going to divide Cos by sine Yeah, more specifically, yeah. cosine. Cosine squared. Yes, divide both sides cosine squared. So this is a way to not have to memorize. And you guys, you guys, honestly, this is why we're changing the game. Like we're showing cool ways of how to remember this complex stuff. Look at that. So let's change the game. What is sine divided by cosine? We did it just it's now. Cot, cosine, uh, sine tangent. Cot squared. Cot squared. Cot squared. Cot. Oh wait, oh yeah, wait, he's right, yep. No. No, what? Sine divided by cosine. It's sine on your paper. Tan. Okay. No. May I write tangent squared? Yeah. Is sine yes. squared divided yes. by cosine squared tangent squared? Yes. Put it down. And then it's one. Plus one, it is. And then, wait, and then it, and then it's SCC. How do you say it? It's secant. Secant, secant what? Secant, secant squared, squared theta. Yes, secant squared theta. Okay. DR. Yeah. Say this. Say 10 squared theta. Go 10 ahead. squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta. Bravo. Anyone else want to try another one? Okay. Um, try, try the second one. Uh, 1 plus cosine tangent. Co no. Cotangent squared, squared theta, theta equals cos cosecant squared theta. Bravo. Can you try the first one for us? Go ahead. So, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very this is an easy stuff. This isn't easy. So those are the major three identities. Plus we did sine equals sine over cosine is tangent. We did a bunch of those. Okay, drop the marker. We're good. Woo! Oh! Clean up in Isle Oval Office. <laughs> the term's done. <laughs> you leave. Gotta leave go. That. <laughs> leave, leave. Hello, I'm President Barack Obama. In any approaching election season, it is of the utmost importance to vote. Your vote directly shapes the future of our nation. Simply Google how to register to vote for details in your area. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message.